Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer live pop-up chat. We have some red fan flappage going on. Let's do it again. Hello and welcome. I hope you've had a wonderful, amazing day. We have some maybe hot news. And I say maybe because it still could be speculation. But I want to kind of work our way through it. So hello and welcome. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to go straight to the chat room and see who is here live because this is a live chat by the way if you are watching on catch up um i do believe the chat oh hang on mute me mute me that's because i had myself on earlier um i do believe that the actual live chat room that i'm reading now you can replay so i think there is a live chat replay so you can always read along with what with what i'm reading in the comments um and then of course you can put your own comments below the description box there is a comment section um, if you're new to YouTube and you can leave a comment on the video and I do know that lots of users do like to browse the comment section and answer other people's comments as well so it is quite a good tool to uh, to get to know the wider community and get lots of everyone else's opinions on what they think so uh, I'm going to click on the video right away and go straight to it let's have a look um, so hello to everyone. By the way, I do hope the notifications are being sent out. I think they're probably not because, um, like I say, YouTube limits the, notif the notifications um, depending on how many videos you post in a 24-hour period. Apparently, they only push notifications for the first three videos. Um, and then, for some reason, they think that you're spamming. I don't know why. Um, but it doesn't really work for news channels where there could be lots of different videos on different news topics. So, so yes, it's just the YouTube system again, not really working out for for news channels. And I suppose I class myself as a sort of news history type channel. So, um, so there we go. Um, I can see some people dropping in right now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go straight into it because otherwise we could be here forever waiting for people to arrive. So it's Tuesday the 20th of August 2019. And the question I'm posing is... Is Princess Beatrice to marry in the spring or summer of 2020? Her, I would say, I mean, she's been dating over a year now. Maybe, is that classed as long term? To me, that's not long term. Uh, but anyway, her boyfriend, her lover, um, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi. And I hope I've said his full name correctly. Uh, but she, he is, he is the man that she's been dating for for around a year now, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I do believe she met him um, at Princess Eugenie's wedding. That's what the kind of tale goes, although they do have mutual friends. Now, as we know, Eduardo does have a history. He had um, a previous a previous partner who he split from around about the same time as he met, um, so, sorry, not, yeah. So around about the same time as he met Princess Beatrice. I was going to say Eugenie and I thought, no, she's married. Um, yeah, so they met round... Oh, by the way, I'm wearing the, the York tiara today, seeing as I'm talking about a York girl, a York princess. Um, so they met round about the same time, and there was a lot of sort of hoo-ha in the press about his previous relationship, and he does have a child. Um, and at the end of it all, I don't think anybody was really any the clearer of what actually happened. So I think we need to kind of park that whole issue, because nobody technically knows knows why he and his previous partner split up. Was it because of Beatrice? Was it not because of Beatrice? Had they, had they already separated pre-Beatrice? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. So I think we need to kind of park that issue. But where we're at at the moment is that they have been sort of long-term um, relationship for over a year now. And he has actually moved from, from his London residence, although I do believe they kept it, but he's moved from there into the security of um, St. James's Palace, where she has uh, a suite of rooms, uh, an, an apartment, if you like, at St. James's Palace. So he's moved in with her. So they're kind of quite cosy. And there has been rumours and speculation for a while now, um, as there would be, that when is she going to get married? Um, and I've kind of thought to myself, hmm, I don't know. It's only been just over a year in terms of relationships. Is that... I mean, Harry and Meghan did. Harry and Meghan um, got married after a short engagement and kind of, you know, kind of a whirlwind romance. And uh, that's working out fine in, in terms of in terms of a love match. So maybe a year is enough time to get to know somebody uh, enough to, to know if you want to marry them. Um, so I'm not saying no. I'm not saying that, that they're not. Uh, but to me, it is still a little bit quick. I mean, 
Hey. Uh, but anyway, each each to their own. It, it worked for Harry and Meghan. It worked for Charles and Diana. Well, it didn't work for Charles and Diana. Um, but hey, they got married and, and they had kids. Um, each to their own is what I'm going to say on that one. Um, so anyway, the story goes. It's actually from um, somebody who worked. I'm not going to say their name. But somebody who works for Majesty Magazine. Um, now she wrote a piece saying that a member, an actual member of the royal family told her that Beatrice is going to get married. Now that's quite a bold statement to come out with. Usually we get sources say, royal insiders say, blah blah blah. Which we often know is code word for I'm just making it up. But this time, you know, Ing ah, I almost said a name. Anyway, the person said um, in Majesty magazine um, that was picked up on by the Daily Mail um, said that a member of the royal family told her that. I don't know if that's true, um, but it seems quite a bold statement to put out there if it's not. So let's just run with it for a moment and just kind of, you know, kind of sense that it may be that it may be true. Um, who could it be? I mean, I'm thinking the only source that would probably reveal or know such a detail would be one of the York family themselves. And I'm thinking the one who was probably most likely to reveal that kind of detail would probably be Sarah. So I'm thinking maybe Sarah, Duchess of York, may have made a comment, passed a comment, informed this lady at, Maj at Majesty magazine. I don't know, uh, but whatever. She's she's come out and said that a royal, you know, a royal me family member has told her this. Now that may explain why we had Sarah, Andrew, and Beatrice up at Balmoral when they don't normally go. I mean, I know everyone was speculating about about other reasons why they may be up there, but this I, I don't know whether this could be a deflection. I don't know whether this could be true. I'm just saying it as as it's coming out. So it's believed this lady says that that um, that it's understood that Eduardo was also there. Now he wasn't seen publicly. He wasn't seen in the car. There is no uh, pictorial evidence that he was up there. But the, the article is saying that he was there. Now, as as an unmarried member of the family. Um, I would probably say that he would only probably go up to Balmoral if they were kind of seeking the Queen's permission, or at least running it by the Queen, informing the, informing the Queen, because of course Beatrice, being ninth in line to the throne currently, doesn't have to ask permission from the Queen. Um, so she is she's out of that restraint, so to speak. But I do think out of courtesy, even, even though she doesn't have to, I still think she would possibly run it past um, the, head, the head of the family, um, the Queen. So I'm thinking it may be they all, if it's true, they all headed up there to Balmoral to kind of tell the Queen about a possible engagement. So um, maybe Beatrice could already be engaged. Um, that could be that could be the case. So that leads the Lady in Majesty magazine to speculate on when the wedding's likely to be, probably spring or summer of next year, 2020. So that's kind of where we're where we're at with are they, aren't they? It all hinges, I suppose, on if Eduardo did actually go up to Balmoral or not, because that's what the whole hinge point of this story hinges on. And also whether or not the Lady from Majesty magazine did actually have a royal family member who's in the know tell her that correct information. So I just thought I would put that out there and kind of um, just explain what that whole story is about. So we could be seeing potentially um, another royal wedding. Um, we've had so many in such a short space of time. It's like it's like waiting for a bus. You wait for ages or a train and then they all come at once. Uh, so we've you know, if this does happen, we've been treated to lots of royal weddings um, in the last, what, three, three years? We've had quite a lot. Um, right, let's just have a look. Uh, Jamila says, Princess Beatrice's boyfriend is gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't pos possibly pass comment, but, um, but he's, 
he's not uneasy on the eye, shall we say. Little Annie says she's only been with him for 12 months, but has known him for ages. Yes, she has. She has known him uh, via mutual friends. For, I don't think they've been like pally pally, uh, but they've known it. They've known of each other, you know, through mutual friends for a while. Um, Jen says I met my husband in March and married in June. Oh, my goodness. That is so quick. <laughs> that is quick. Was it, was it a shotgun wedding? Uh, not that I'm speculating. Oh, let me just um, deal with a troll. Hang on. Uh, there we go. I've just dealt with a troll. Um, there we go. And the message deleted. Um, by the way, I'm still thinking people aren't getting the notifications. Tamila says, do we hear wedding bells? Well, I don't know whether I do or not. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But possibly if they are going to get married in... Uh, in the spring or summer of 2020, I would possibly imagine an engagement announcement round about September, October. Bertie Rose says, do you think St George's Chapel will be a likely venue again? It is highly, highly possible. Although, maybe Beatrice might want something different to her sister. You know what sisters are like. Um, you know... Charles and, and Andrew and Edward all had all had different venues. Um, I'm possibly it's it, it could be it could be on the cards. I mean, don't forget, you know, um, the Yorks family home of Royal Lodge Windsor is there, which, of course, could be used to cut down on costs in terms of in terms of hosting. They could, of course, use uh, use Frogmore as well. Uh, Frogmore House in terms of a venue. However, she could do a Zara and possibly get married up in Scotland. Um, that could possibly be the case. Who knows whether it will be televised? I mean, it's likely, seeing as there was a sort of kind of like um, almost a mass protest that Eugenie's wasn't going to be televised. And then eventually it was picked up by ITV. So I'm thinking that it probably would be televised again. I'm imagining ITV would probably want... Beatrice's wedding as well as Eugenie's if it's going to happen uh, but like I say would would Beatrice want exactly the same as Eugenie let me know do you have a sister or a sibling and would you have wanted the same venue or did you have the same venue as your sibling I don't know I don't have siblings so um it's kind of a it's a it's a mystery to me um but I'm imagining maybe she would she'd want something a little bit different to, to her sister, so the other option could possibly be Scotland. I definitely don't think Westminster Abbey or St, or St Paul's. Um, I'm thinking a little bit smaller in scale um, than that. So the only other option to me would possibly be Scotland. However, she herself may decide that she doesn't want a public affair and therefore it could be private, it could be in the Chapel Royal. Um, it could be, you know, it could be anywhere that's kind of small and intimate. If she does opt for a wedding in Scotland, she could follow Zara's suit and have and have the um, wedding reception or or, or the pre-party on board the Royal Yacht Britannia, which is based up there, which is exactly what Zara did. She had a her, I think it was her pre a pre-wedding party, I think, on Royal Yacht Britannia. Um, Queen Mary says, another wedding, can't wait, we'll put on my Africa Royal Regalia. Um, wow, I would love, make sure you post a picture of that. Dawn Horton says, the wedding will be interesting, the drama with their dad and who she's marrying, oh boy, oh boy. Um, well, hopefully things will have sorted themselves out by then, I'm hoping. Um, Elizabeth Regina says, did they get engaged? No, we are talking about um, an article that was, um, for those of you who have just joined, um, a lady uh, from Majesty magazine says that she was told by a family member, an actual family member, we don't know who, um, or even if it's true, that they are that they are to be married in the spring or summer of 2020, and that possibly they went up to Balmoral as a family unit. Although we didn't see Eduardo, um, again I must point out we didn't see him there. Um, that that was possibly to inform the Queen of the marriage, even though. Um, she doesn't technically need permission of the Queen. I think they probably would inform the Queen just out of, um, you know, just to be courteous, really, out of common courtesy. 
Plot Among Pain says the local parish church used to be the venue. Isn't New York's family home on Windsor Great Park? Yes. Um, so yes, it could mean it could very well mean St George's. I'm just wondering whether or not Beatrice wants the same as her sister. That's my only thought on the whole matter. Uh, right. Uh, oh, Marsha says it wouldn't be a state affair that she is too low on the totem pole. The closer to the throne, the bigger the wedding. Um, I mean, not necessarily, but like I say, Eugenie did did have a big public wedding. And, you know, Beatrice is only one below, one below Eugenie. So we could expect something on a very similar scale to Eugenie. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Gree says, thank you for your diplomacy. It's why I continue to enjoy your videos. Thank you so much. And hello to Live, Love and Laugh as well. Right, it's going to be a quick video. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. I just want to say at the end of this video uh, that I am, you know, Ellen... Ellen DeGeneres and of course Pink did come out in support of Harry and Meghan following Elton John's explosive, I'm going to call it explosive, series of tweets. Um, and I was thinking last night, Elton must have been properly hacked off. I mean, he must have been outraged. And we all know, uh, you know, that Elton is, you know, a bit of a tantrum queen and throws hissy fits. Uh, which, you know, some of them are justifiable, some of them might not be, but this one was totally, I think, justifiable. And I can just imagine him um, having having waved off Harry and Meghan from his, from his, you know, from his hospitality, only to find pretty much straight away the press put out all those horrible stories. He must have been outraged. Um, and I think, I think he was completely outraged. We, we could sense it in those tweets. But... That has now, I think, opened the floodgates for other celebrities to come forward. Ellen has. Pink has. I mean, you know, maybe maybe Beyonce might wade into the into the waters. Maybe Pharrell might. I mean, I did go and check their Twitters to see if they'd put anything out. They, they hadn't yet. May, who knows? Maybe they will. Maybe more celebrities might come forward and be be empowered by what Elton did to come out and speak their mind. So I did make a video, an updated video today about Ellen and Pink coming out in support of Harry and Meghan, which I thought was a really lovely thing to do. And it just shows um, the support they have out there in the wider community. So I'm gonna leave this video here right now. Um, and all I will say is enjoy your day, enjoy your, your evening, whatever time it is for you. And I will hopefully be back tomorrow. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And also do hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. That is, of course, if YouTube is playing ball. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.